Configurations in OnShape give additional flexibility to designs, allowing multiple variations to be created by varying dimensions, feature parameters, and part properties. Parametric variables may also be varied for each unique configuration. Using variables with configurations to define varying dimensions clearly indicates the driving parameter. In this example, this dining table has multiple variations in different sizes. The size of the table is driven by dimensions within a sketch. To create multiple configurations of differing sizes, the dimensions in the sketch are added to the configuration table by right-clicking and selecting Configure Dimension. If the dimensions are driven by variables, the process is similar. In this example, we have adjusted the sketch and feature dimensions to use the variables. Right-click the variable to be configured and select Edit. Within the Variables dialog, right-click the value field and select Configure. This adds the variable as a column in the configuration table and displays the current value in each corresponding cell. The value of the variable can be changed for each unique configuration. As configurations are selected, the value of the variable switches to the value defined in the configuration table. On the surface, this method might not offer advantages beyond simply configuring a traditional sketch dimension other than clearly displaying the driving dimensions. However, when dimensions utilize variables within expressions or reference other variables, the power of configuring variables becomes apparent. Drastic modifications can be made to the design simply by varying the value of a single variable. As an example, the width of this table should be two-thirds of the length. By simply updating the length value, the width dimension is updated as well and any subsequent related features fall into place. The suppression state of a variable feature can be varied by right-clicking the feature and selecting Configure Suppression. Keep in mind that once a variable is suppressed, any dimensions or parameters that reference that variable show errors. To quickly see which features or sketches are dependent upon a variable, right-click the variable feature and select Show Dependencies. A dialog displays which features or sketches are dependent on that variable. These dependent dimensions or parameters may also be configured and added to the configuration table. For any configuration where a reference variable is suppressed, the value of the dimension or parameter would require a new value that does not reference the suppressed variable. This can be particularly helpful for creating a variation that's not driven by variables with dependent dimension or parameter values defined independently in the configuration table. As an example, let's create a longer version of the table. We want a longer dimension for the length, but we do not wish for the dependent, calculated width dimension to be affected. The sketch dimension used to define the length is added to the configuration table, and a unique value is set for the long configuration. Since the table length variable is unchanged, the width is calculated from the variable value. We are now free to use whatever length dimension we need in this configuration. By configuring variables instead of dimensions, it's possible to change multiple dimensions or parameters at once. The configuration table also makes it easier to keep track of the value used for the variable in each variant.